Okay. That was Vicky Wolf Sodden. Now well, we're going to shoot for uh, Bill Ogdahl. Okay. Hello, Bill. Yeah. Yeah, are you the guy who's running for mayor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, Terry Nemers. I was going to ask you if you had heard about the YouTube video about the assault that happened on uh, July 25th of this year at Waterama on the courthouse sidewalk. No. Uh -uh. Okay. Well, you know, I, everyone I've talked to doesn't seem to know anything about this at all. Now, you know, there's all these cops running around, you know, for security, and uh, there's an assault that happens right on the courthouse sidewalk, you know. Yeah. Well, anyhow, the, the YouTube is called Lion News Senate Candidate Larry Rice Helps Cover Up 2010 Waterama Assault, question mark. Okay, now, I, I happen to be not the most computer, computer literate guy in the whole world. Yeah. But I am sitting in front of my computer right now. Okay. And I have the internet on. Okay. How do I get there from here? Okay. Are you at Google right now? No. Okay. Do you know how to get to Google? Yeah. If I go to favorite, okay. I push Google. Okay. There's Google. Okay. Type in YouTube. YouTube. Y O U T U B E. Okay. YouTube. Yep. Yep, and in the in the box there, just type in Larry Rice Waterama. Okay, just hold on. Hold on. What I forgot in the box. Search. Yeah, in the search box. Sorry okay, about so that. I put it, type in what? Okay, you type in uh, Larry Rice. L A R R Y. What? Rice R I C E. He's the he's the thirteenth district candidate this year. Okay. And then type in Waterama. Uh, and then you should just be able to hit enter, and it should take you to a variety of... Okay, wait a minute. Uh, don't belong, don't Waterama. Okay. That's search, right? Yeah, hit search. Okay. There. Uh, let me here go to it real quick. Okay. It should. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah. Lion report. DFL Dean Paulson. No, that's not the one. Well, that's that's another one. That's where that's where I talked to to Dean Paulson. If you want to watch that, that's also up there. But it's the one where it says it should be Lion News Senate candidate Larry Rice helps covered up Waterama 2010. Waterama assault question mark. It should be a, a lady with a uh, a white sweatshirt there. Okay. Should be four minutes and fourteen seconds. It should say. Okay. It says uh, one week ago. Yep, one week ago. Okay, and it says 38, 34 views, right? Uh, well, mine says eighty-eight, but yours might be oh, different than mine. Things here. One says eighty-eight. One says thirty-four. Okay. Well, you could you could go to either one. Doesn't really matter. The the arrest of Judge Kid is the one that has the eighty eight views. So, okay. what do I do to watch that? Okay, all you do is you just click on the the link where it says Lion News Senate Candidate Larry Rice, right there. Okay. And then just click on it. Yes. Okay. Now you should come up to a a screen. Yep. Lion that, News Senate. Yep. That's it. Okay. And then there's a big black, big black picture there. Yeah. So, yeah. Now there's people talking. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's fine.
hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. What's that? Huh? What'd you say? Oh, who's the, who's the woman talking? Well, that's the mystery, isn't it? That's that's the thing that Larry Rice and uh, and Dean Paulson don't want to say who it is. Talking about the, uh, the the little cartoon here. What's that? No, the the one is the cartoon is just uh, something just something extra. The assault is is the assault where the lady throws the piece of paper in the guy's face. It, the, threw the piece of paper in, in somebody's face. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's called assault. Yeah. Because uh, she did it with malice. Well, like I said the, the cartoon isn't uh, isn't the important part. Oh, it, it's the assault part. The, yeah, the assault part. Yeah, I'll have to watch over to catch the whole thing on that. Yep. Who's the lady that was talking in the screen there? Do you know? Well, like I said, that's the that's the the question that uh, no one wants to answer because when I talked to Dean Paulson, it seemed like he really had no idea what was going on. He didn't know. Seemed to really know up from down. You know, he didn't know. Who was who was there to do a meet and greet for Larry Rice, who happened to be their candidate? So I mean, it, it seemed awful strange to me. So anyhow, you're on the city commission, correct? Right. Okay. So the question is, are you going to uh, call up uh, Neil T. Nelson, who happens to be your assistant uh, city attorney, who is also running for county attorney? and ask him to investigate this. Probably not, because I don't know anything about it yet, but I'll ask Neil what he knows about it. Okay. You know. Okay. I mean, uh, because this is the first time I knew anything about it. Well, he usually doesn't come to the city commission meetings. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the, the point is, is that uh, the prosecutor actually has a role as a law enforcement officer, because... You can see by the video that there's a crime, okay? okay, and it happened at the courthouse where there's all sorts of cops running around, and the only place that an assault takes place is at the courthouse, okay? So I guess the thing is, if you know, you're know you spending all sorts of money on security and an assault happens, then I guess it should find out who actually did it and uh, prosecute them, shouldn't you? Well, I would think that's what you should do. I mean, that's their job, isn't it, to prosecute crime? Well, look, you mean the police officer and the, and the uh, county attorney? Well, the city attorney would do it because it just it's a misdemeanor. Okay. okay. Because, like I said, you know, the the prosecutor's role is as a law enforcement officer, and it's their duty to investigate crimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, so I guess my point is. I mean, this guy is supposed to be in charge of safety and security of the city of Glenwood. And at that point in time in the city of Glenwood, that it wasn't safe and secure at, at this courthouse, which is supposed to be the center of supposed justice, and an assault takes place there. Do you, do you see my point? Yeah. Okay. 
So I guess the, the question is, I mean, if this guy's running for county attorney and he's supposed to be in charge of the whole county then, well, I mean, you'd think that he would be Johnny on the spot to find out who did this and to solve the crime before the election, wouldn't you? Well, he might be. I don't know. Like I said, this is, the, this is absolutely the first time I've seen anything about it. Well, the, well. I've ever gone to YouTube. Well, that's fine. That's fine. But my point is, that's their job. Okay, a crime took place, it's, there's video evidence of it, clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence, okay, so I guess all you gotta do is show them it, and say, hey, go to work, we want some results, we're paying you, we want results, does that make sense? Now I'm replaying this thing. Okay. Oh yeah, yes it is.